good morning um off on another road trip um off to um towards king's lynn way um which according to the sat nav um oh it's only going to show me the first part of the journey so um anyway we are on our way 100 percent charge 162 miles in the gom um I'm using all Tesla chargers. It says the first Tesla charger wants me to do a brief eight minute top up at Exeter. But I'm going to see if I can make it to Bristol. So well, we shall give it a go. When the sunlight comes up, then we shall use the other camera so you're getting a bit of a better view and possibly some of me. Right, see you when the sun starts to come up. Oh, just going over the Tamar Bridge. So we're leaving Cornwall and entering England. So I've done nearly nine miles. I've used 5% battery. The temperature's definitely dropped. I did precondition the car as well. So 95% uh, in the uh, in the battery, nine miles done, or 8.8, .8, and 152 miles in the GOM. Let's keep plodding on. It's uh, it's taking some getting used to this weather, uh, this the the uh, dark nights, uh, dark mornings. Oh crikey, I got me. I'm off asleep. Yeah, the. Uh, the dark mornings, it's taking some getting used to, so, right, let's keep going, right, hopefully we have cameras working, um, so I was going to try and do the journey to Bristol, um, and I think I probably would have made it there, but I would have arrived with very very minimal battery um, this is where you really notice things in this car on long journeys when the weather has uh, cooled off a bit because uh, your your range decreases so I've got 60% in the GOM I've done 53 miles uh, and it says I got 82 miles left now it was 71 to get me to Cribs Causeway, which is where I intended to charge. I'm just hoping the service centre is open. I can't recall if this has any barriers here. Um, no, it doesn't. That's good. Right, let's get ourselves uh, on charge. We shall go with this one here, which is a 3D. get rolling right we're charging at 46 kilowatt already which for this little car is brilliant we've been on charge for one minute and six seconds 61 percent um i'm probably gonna let it go to um 80 ish and then head off to see uh let's have a quick look so Look, yeah, we're happy with all that. Uh, we've arrived there. So, continue. So, 92 miles. Oh, look at that, ironically, we had 92 miles. So, 92 miles, an hour and 51 minutes to the next um, 
charger which is in Cribs Causeway. Right, let's just give this a bit of time to charge up and then we will continue. Oh, I've just, uh, one thing I didn't say is it's um, 39 pence a kilowatt here which is absolutely lovely. Um, <clears throat> it just amazes me how other companies can charge up to sort of 40, 50 pence more a kilowatt. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. How are we doing? Uh, seven minutes we've been here. Uh, four kilowatt of energy in. Five kilowatt of energy in. Up to 73%. Not much longer. Right, I said I didn't want to be here much longer than 15 minutes. I'm at 88%. Charging rates dropping. Let's get this turned off and rolling. So on that charger for 15 minutes and 3 seconds, £4.56, nearly 12 kilowatt. I've done 53 miles, so I'm kind of happy with that. Right. Uh, well, as you can see, we're just about to... Um, Pass Cribs Causeway. Um, I had accidentally um, assumed that that's where the uh, it was going to take me on a Tesla charger. Well, because I had uh, quite a bit more charge than <laughs> I originally thought. Um, it looks like we're going to Gloucester Services. I have checked that is open to um, non-Tesla users. So, so how are we doing? So we've got 25% battery, 29 miles in the GOM, and according to the um, sat nav, 12 miles to go. So. Um, as I say, I programmed this route, but assumed that it was Cribs Causeway it was going to take me off at. It's not. It, it does look like Gloucester Services northbound. So that will be a services that I've uh, or a Tesla charger that I've not used before. So we've uh, we've got 11 miles to go. Looks pretty good. Traffic is definitely getting busier. Alright, come back to you when uh, when we get to the charger. Okay, sit rep update. I've messed up. Um, I've actually programmed in a Tesla only charger, um, which I believe is going to be at. Uh, I think it's Michael Wood Services. Um, so I'm assuming that there is a charger locally that I can use um, at Michael Wood. So we'll um, we're going to have to jump on and just put a few kilowatt in just to get us to the next Tesla charger. So that's going to work out a bit expensive for me because I'd sort of planned only to use Tesla chargers. So, but we'll carry on, we'll carry on. It's, it, it happens, not the end of the world. There is a charger there, that's all that's important. Right, it actually looks as if I could make the charger at... Um, Gloucester, which is uh, Gloucester Services, so there is a Tesla charger there, so I have completely messed up, completely messed up, so, um, but it happens, that's what, um, that's what happens, little things do happen, so there is, I know there is a charger here, so literally I'm going to jump on this just for few minutes just to get some charging all right 
here we are the services that I didn't intend to arrive at here we go Right, slightly messed that up. That's just cost me two pounds seventy nine, which is probably um, even with its discount is horrendous. So um, I'm going to continue down now to the services at Gloucester and get onto the Tesla charger that I actually really wanted to get onto. So um, this just goes to prove that check check and check again which um, I didn't do I didn't do completely my error and had I have been going oh, very nice uh, had I have been going just a little bit slower I probably would have had more than sufficient to to get me there right um, <laughs> It will be time for a coffee and some breakfast, I think, when we do get there. Right, this is the services I was heading for, and I actually think I probably would have made it with the charge that I had. So... See if we can find the Tesla chargers. Uh, HGVs? No. Um, there we go. Electric and Tesla chargers. Straight up. Cars, electric and Tesla chargers. And that's what we want. Marvellous. Let's see if we can find the Tesla charges. One is assuming they'll be over there, but never assume. So I've done that before now. the question 64 pence a kilowatt I think we're going to uh, go and have a look at that uh, uh. 2d marvelous let's just um, power down the car we want 2d push that let us get charging Right, initialising, we are plugged in. It sounds like it's starting. It is. So, 140, no, no, that's not, that's a lie, isn't it? Um, how many miles are we in? Let's shut that door, because that background noise. So we are, um, No. How many miles have we done is the question. Let's just power the car up. Right. We are at 14%. Um, No, that's the wrong button. Wrong side. Uh, uh, uh. Right, a little bit of organisation. I need 87 miles in the GOM. Um, 
to get me to the next charger um, and it says that we'll arrive there at 11 o'clock it's half past nine now so time wise I'm not actually doing too bad I'm hoping to be there just after half past two so um, let's go and have a look at um, these charges opposite so this is Gloucester services northbound um, and this is Westmoreland charging I tell you what, this is a private company um, so there is um, CCS uh, two CCS charges so I'm just looking to see what kilowatt this is uh, 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 does it say on it anywhere no they're at T-Bay so I've not seen this before and I don't know what kilowatt this uh, this operates at is it 300 kilowatt I don't know let's have a look uh, No, I have no idea. I just assume that these are looking at that 300 kilowatt. I can't see anything on it anywhere that would. Sorry, me turning my head. It's not brilliant, is it? So, um, Westmoreland Charging. I have to do a little bit of looking up about that. So they've got one, two, three, four, five, six charges, um, and there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Tesla chargers uh, open to non-Tesla users. So, as I say, I should have done timed that a bit better, uh, and I should have uh, checked before I actually left. Anyway, I have uh, I have packed myself some food, so I'm going to sit in the car, have something to eat, and have a drink, and then we shall set off. Right, I've been sitting here for longer than expected. I've spent a grand total of nearly 15 pounds and been here for nearly an hour. Um, but I've topped the charge right up. Um, I have been had a look round. I've done a lot, done a bit of editing as well. So, um, so let's um, let's stop this now because I don't know. That we're down to 10, 10 kilowatt, and I, I don't want to be sitting here any longer. So let's just stop this charge and get it unplugged. right there we go a grand total of 14 pounds 47 pence um and let's just load up the sat nav so we've got 158 miles down 139 miles in the gom and 97 point 97 percent charge so we need to do, oh, this has not done, that's a shame. Right, let's not bore you, back in a minute. Yeah, so 87 miles to the next charger. We have uh, topped up. We got 139 miles in the gong, which means I haven't got to spare the horses. Let's get back onto the M5. So, thankfully, it's still showing everything green, which means that there's currently no, this is famous last words, currently no issues, <laughs> which is, um, <laughs> oh, it's definitely, definitely famous last words, isn't it? So let's just give this a bit of acceleration to get out. So that this car looks bit marvelous. So we sit, we're there for just under, it's nearly an hour. Um, but we are flowing again. Gonna get to the next charger just before midday. Uh, again, I think it's planned another stop after that one, but dependent on time and amount of charge I have, I may be able to kind of get away with that. So as I say, 86 miles to do, and we've got 139 miles in the GOM. 
back when we reach the next charger, which I think is rugby. So, update. Um, we, I, I was meant to be coming off at rugby, uh, which is in about 20 miles time, to the supercharger there, uh, at the retail park. However, um, because I've actually ended up stopping further on at Gloucester, um, I've got more than sufficient battery to get me to Kettering, which will be absolutely brilliant, because then it's not too far from Kettering to where I need to be. So, we should get to the Kettering Charger just after midday. Probably 25 minutes, half hour on that Charger, and then I should have enough for me to continue the rest of my journey. So, um, that is a, as a positive, a slight negative earlier with me messing up the chargers, um, but a positive now that I actually get to miss out the charger, um, which is absolutely brilliant. So I'll come back to you when we get to Kettering. So we've just gone past the uh, turning I think we would have taken to get to the rugby charger um, so 32 miles to go 60 miles on the GOM so we're going for the Kettering Tesla supercharger and as I say that means that we've because uh, we've done more charging at the Gloucester charger I've now got enough to get me further and to miss out the charger. Um, just to recap, I think I could have, uh, I would have had enough to actually get me, when I realised I made a mistake earlier, to uh, Gloucester Services, um, if I'd have eased off a bit. But I am a bit pushed for time, so I'm doing my best to kind of get there as quick as I can. Right, we'll see you when we get to the Kettering Charger. Right, coming off of the A14 onto the A509 for the Kettering Superchargers. It's saying it's busy, there's only one stall available. So um, we're still three miles away. It looks like it's uh, around the back somewhere. Right, let's keep going. Oh, 0.3 of a mile from the charger. Um, it looks like it looks like a I don't know if it's industrial estate or so Barton Seagrave. It's saying the charger's located at, and we're going to do a left here by the looks of it. Interesting. Oh, should we have done a left back there? No, it looks like it might be a left here. Excellent. Past the Rolls Royce and looked so we want parking. Electric car chargers. Marvellous. It's busy. Marvellous. We want to A. Let's get on it. Charger 2A we want. <sighs> Charge here. 2A. So the car beside me has actually plugged in, instead of using the charger next to me, has used the wrong charger so um, anyway we are charging 
so that's a positive right uh been here 35 minutes basically um at 80 percent that's more than enough to get us to 63 miles 132 miles in the gom let's stop the charge and get rolling right we have got 63 miles left to do 132 miles in the gom of banana skin as you can see i've had some lunch and drunk some of my coffee so um well, let's head on that now i wonder if they're putting more tesla chargers there because it always looks to be busy so we are out and running this is just four minutes slower that way all right let us so we've got eight, uh, sorry, 63 miles left to do, um, and we should be there. Before. Sorry about that. We got rudely interrupted. Yeah. So, um, 132 miles in the GOM, 62 miles to do, 80.5 percent. And it's just going to take us hour and 22 minutes to do 60 miles. Hmm. Interesting. Right, keep you updated. Well, I'm not too sure what's going on here. It's just oh bloody hell! Car on fire! Oh, someone's pride and joy! What a shame! What an absolute shame! No, oh, it looks like there's a it's been a collision. Oh, that's horrible! Oh, that's really, really sad. Oh, and the smell. Oh, yeah, that's um, plastics, rubber, and everything else. That is not a nice smell. <sighs> right, let's give a bit of an update. We have got 14 miles to go. There is 46.5% battery and 78 miles in the GOM. Um, what do we have, 80? 75, 80, I've forgotten. Um, so we're still doing fairly well. Um, as the batteries are warmed up, I think we're doing a few more miles and I have obviously dropped the speed from 70 down to 60 and 55 mile an hour. So we're doing well. Right, we are just coming up to where we need to be. Oh, it looks like a day of it. it. Looks like a day of accidents, unfortunately. What a shame. What an absolute shame. Motorcycle versus car. Motorcycle is always going to come off worst, unfortunately. Right. So what have we done? 332 miles in total. We have got 35% left in the GOM and 51 miles. Um, charge wise, three charges. Yeah, three charges as far as I can recall. Um, so pretty happy with that. Um, time wise what we're looking at um, it was quarter past six when I left it's ten past two now so uh, eight, eight, and a, eight hours say eight hours and probably an hour and a half of that actually on charging so I'm going to end today's vlog here and um, probably come back with the return journey tomorrow I don't know if I don't come back and this is the end of the vlog if you've enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up like subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and um, if not I'll see you tomorrow or see us in the following vlog thanks for watching bye for now